Hey, Chris here, gonna do a status update on this 24 volt portable transportable solar generator. I got two 100 watt Renogy solar panels hooked up in series. Let's get in here a little bit closer. Got them in a little bit of a sliver of a sun right now. Just a quick little update on here. I hooked up some sash, window sash locks on here whatever you want to call these things and put a handle on it so <laughs> I can carry it they fold up beautifully and I can carry it with one handle really really good I got to figure out bracing here on the back and then I rigged up kind of hard to see this is 12-2 landscaping wire which is UL rated for up to 150 volts and Put some MC4 connectors on there, kind of rednecky, and run the wire into the garage here, which goes into my 30 amp tracer solar charger, MPPT, and I'm just doing some testing right now, you know, electrically. In the MT5 says about 4.9 and the actual clamp meter pretty close this re the MT5 reads just a little bit low on the low side and the battery voltage is kind of lagging in there too it says it's 26.6 but you look over here yes I've got the go power 24 volt pure sine wave inverter just sitting here and test it out actually running a load on it and reading about 27 volts on there I just got it sitting in there right now I also have it grounded down there on my grounding rod which is about 10 feet down okay, for safety and I checked it out with my line tester and it was perfect coming out of there it is running at about 110 volts i need to get the dip switch settings for up to 120 that'll be a little bit later on oh my meter turned off gosh darn it okay now let's look over here real quick and i'll show you my work there's no fuses or breakers on this at the moment this is just kind of hot testing make sure everything works I will have breakers and an outlet on the side here and all kinds of good stuff but uh, I used one gauge automotive DC cables and I actually called technical support at go power and they actually recommend four gauge and I was like not in a million years <laughs> uh, and I told them I fabricated a one gauge and they said oh that's awesome and for the charging side I just have six gauge right now for the test jig okay I had this hooked up to my college refrigerator TV stereo all that jazz and I'll show you here in a second but when the refrigerator cycled on with this go power the bar graph meter here on the right just hit yellow which I think is about 1200 watts so it's about perfect size for a small fridge and all that now let's run over here to this extension cord and this is what I'm powering over here I disconnected all the electronics on here I got the TV running fridge stereo is in standby and just disconnected everything that's on this power strip right up here plugged in the kilowatt meter and it ran it into the inverter let's see how many watts I'm drawing right now just should be just under 100 yeah, about 100 watts and this meter is reading I don't know what this kilowatt meter is reading I've got one here that reads 110 volts this one's reading 121 volts so, <laughs> I'm 
I'm gonna have to find out. I'm gonna get my true RMS meter hooked up to that and you know, do those dip switch settings on there. But uh, yeah, this is a good day. This thing's working really great. It's gonna look really nice once it's all buttoned up. The one smart thing, or it just worked out really good, is the side ventilation port that goes on here. It serves two purposes, air inlet and also access to the batteries terminals down here. So, pretty happy with that too. I did find another MPPT solar charge controller on eBay and I actually ordered it. It's the newer version of the Tracer, but it's not a 30 amp, it's a 20 amp. But it has the new MT5 display on there, which also shows watts. And it's a much smaller unit. So, fitting the solar charger and all the wiring and stuff inside here, you know, this is going to be painted. This is all going to look much better. Uh, I found out that size was going to be a factor. And I also decided I'd put some lifting handles here so I can access the battery. And that'll be later on, you know, one day at a time. These things take a lot of time and head scratching to get it figured out. So, look at there, I'm already up to 29.27 volts. Full charge with very little load, 100 watt load on there. So it'll run in full sun. And also, the solar panels kick back a little bit here on power two, they're up five, 5.2 amps. And the solar panels at, how many volts? How many volts am I getting in? 36, so. 36 times, I don't remember, about 5.4 amps. I think I was getting about almost full power on the solar panels with two Renegies. So, pretty cool. Alright, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. Just wanted to give you an update on this. <laughs> and uh, it's going to work out really good. Very, very pleased. No, nothing really kind of goofy happened here. Everything just came right up nice. So, it's going to be a good unit. All right, later.